Hello, this is Ian and Charity Rudder, and welcome to another R and R fly fishing video report from beautiful Townsend, Tennessee, in the Smoky Mountains. We've had a pretty wet spring, and we've had a few days blown out up in the Smokies, but for the most part, um, we've had a lot of good fishing. You can see the water's a little high here, and it is right now, but it'll be back to normal in just a few days. We've had some really good fishing with some fantastic insect hatches this spring. A lot of stoneflies buzzing around as well as mayflies and right there goes one of those stoneflies. So far this spring the tailwaters have been running a little too high to get out and fish them. We have managed to get over to the Tuckasegee and the Hiawassee. We'll talk more about the tailwaters in just a minute but we've been seeing a lot of wildlife out in the Smokies. Here are some turkeys now this qualifies for traffic on our way into the park in the morning and not only are we seeing a lot of hens but the gobblers are out strutting and we're hearing them every morning. Another sure sign of spring is the fact that we see rainbow trout out pairing up and spawning. Watch for them on the gravel bars as you approach the tails of the runs. Every year we look forward to spring hatches in the Smokies and the Quill Gordon is the main event. Um, we had a great hatch this year on Little River, and there will probably be a few left on the Carolina side of the park, like the Econolefty and maybe over on Deep Creek. Um, blue quills are another insect we're still seeing, and it won't be long before we see Hendrickson's and Yellow Sally's start to show up. The fish really get active and start looking to the surface when these bugs are out. Um, dry fly fishing can be fantastic. And a lot of times we'll even do a little bit of sight fishing, watching drift lines. You can see a rainbow trout here looking up, and uh, you can watch them rise. This time of year, it's still pretty chilly in the mornings, so we've been fishing nymphs. Those have been doing real well. We've had some good hatches coming off about lunchtime and getting real good through the afternoon. So if you're wanting to do some dry fly fishing, you might wait till lunch to head up the river. This is Seth Powers and he's showing off what a good drift can accomplish up on Little River during the hatches. Seth is from Maine and I think uh, he kind of thought he'd almost come to the Bahamas by comparison to what it's like up in Maine where he's from. Um, he had a great day of dry fly fishing. You can see some other fish rising in the pool as he's bringing this one in. Uh, Seth is a really a, a great angler. We had a lot of fun out on the river. Over the course of the day, I'm not sure how many fish Seth caught, but he missed a bunch too. <laughs> I just think that's a great clip. And we've caught some really nice fish up in the Smokies this spring. It's a great rainbow, and Brendan Smith, a uh, great young angler, caught this really nice brown on a dry fly during a Quill Gordon hatch a few weeks ago. And you can just see how happy he was with that fish. And um, like we always say, you don't really come to the Smokies for big fish, but they're all wild and they're extremely colorful. Just great looking fish. The flies we've been catching them on lately are the Haystack, Pat Snip, and Parachute Quill Gordon. We've also been using the Mr. Brownstone. You can find all of these flies in our new online store. As Charity mentioned before, the tailwater has been running really high this spring and uh, the only places you can fish you've really needed a drift boat. Um, we were doing some streamer fishing on the Tuckasegee last week right here and we really got a lot of fish in on streamers. There's a nice rainbow trout that Charity got um, but primarily we were into browns. We got a few brook trout but a lot of browns and uh, fishing some pretty big stuff. Uh, nothing big and articulated but everything we were fishing was about a size four but we're looking for the clinch in the Holston rivers to uh, get better here now that TVA is cutting back generation and we'll talk to you soon about that so till next time this is Ian and Charity Rudder and we'll see you on the river